Okay, today I wanted to tell you something amazing. As you know, this is an iPod Touch. It's made by Apple. Apple make desktop computers. Like, that's a desktop computer. It's not an Apple one. It's a Microsoft one. But Apple make desktop computers with Mac on them. But iPods do not run on Mac. iPods run on iPhone OS. Or iPod Touch does anyway. This is an iPod Touch second generation. But anyway... As you can see on my computer, Microsoft computers run Windows. Anyway, this is a Windows 7 just to show you. See, start menu and all that sort of stuff. Highlighting, yeah, whatever. Okay, but this here is an iPod. But look with a hack what you can do. You tell me, what does that look like? Now, if you said that looked like Windows, you are absolutely correct. This is Windows 95 running on the iPod Touch, as you can see when I zoom in very close. Now, it's the problem with it is, so far, there's no keyboard for it. You can only use the mouse, and you move the mouse by moving your finger like that. So, for instance, if I wanted to quit the folder I'm currently in, I would press X up there by tapping. No, I don't want to make it massive. Oh. Okay, obviously I've just pressed the wrong thing. It's very hard to navigate. You could basically call this an alpha version because it's just ridiculous. But it's, it's just, the good thing, it's just so small. It's, it's more the comedy of it. Like, it's just so amazing that actual Windows on the iPod, like, they're two different companies. And Bill Gates hates Windows. I mean, Bill Gates hates the iPods, I mean. And, yeah, it's just hilarious. Okay. If I can just quit this now, I can't really see it. Okay, there we go, I quit it. So now I'm on the main desktop, and I can move the mouse down if I move my finger really fast. Okay, tap. Come on. Is the mouse down here at the start? Okay, there we go, start. So the start menu's there. And you can do really whatever you... It's exactly the same as if it was on the computer, except you've just got no keyboard, and it's an absolute crap controller, and it's about ten times slower than the original operating system. Just to boot Windows 95, you know how long that takes? About seven minutes just to boot it. Longer if I didn't apply a thing that makes it overclock, but anyway. Accessories. But you can really see... How this is just an iPod Touch second generation actually running this. Right? You see? An actual iPod, something that fits in your hand, emulating this massive screen here. Okay. Wow, there's so many menus. It's run on, on the absolute lowest resolution, which is 600 and something pixels by 400 and something pixels. I can't remember right now. Okay, and you can click really whatever game you want, for instance. Minesweeper. Oh, this takes forever. See, I've clicked Minesweeper, and now you've just got to wait for it to load. See what I mean about how slow it is? But remember, this isn't running on the iPod. This is just an emulator. Like, uh, that bar at the top isn't really a part of Windows 95. That's part of the iPod. Anyway, there's Minesweeper, and you can see everything actually works. Let me just move the mouse over here. Now, see that? I can tap. Open stuff, tap, tap, see, but anyway, I'll just quit that now, oh my gosh, it's ridiculous, okay, anyway, I think it's best I just shut it down now, oh, by the way, to right click, this is what you do, you put Three, four, it's either two or three, but what you do, I'll just put the mouse here to show you. Okay, to right click, you put three fingers like that on, 
and tap as if it was a mouse, sort of like, wait, let me just get a mouse. This is a mouse of what you actually use with a computer. You put your three fingers like that and you click, but you don't have to do that. You can just do that and that. But yeah, with the iPod, you pretend it's a mouse. So I put three fingers and click. And once I've put the three fingers and clicked, the thing comes up to show you on the computer. All I would have to do on the computer is just right click like that and the stuff would come up. As you can see, the menus are quite different. Windows 95 to compare to Windows 7. But anyway, back down here. Um, one thing I can't really work out is how to get drag, like to drag. Like if I wanted to, for instance, look on this computer again. See this, if I want a window and I want to drag it with a mouse like this, so you can move it around. That's something I haven't worked out yet. So anyway, properties. But yeah, it's it's a complete operating system. No keyboard and no internet, unfortunately. So yeah. The reason no internet is because it's Windows 95 and Windows 95 doesn't accept Wi-Fi. Which means you don't need a cord between the modem and computer. And even if there was a cord that we had for Windows 95, we can't exactly plug the cord into an iPod. Because the iPod has no USB port. Anyway, I'll just quit everything now because we don't really need this. I'll turn the computer off. I mean the iPod off or the emulated computer. It's absolutely ridiculous though, I've got to admit. I just... I hate doing this. Okay. Come on, mouse. Okay. Okay. Shut down. Okay, there we go. Now you've got to wait. Okay, oh, shut down. Okay, now it'll finally shut down, okay. But you can really see it's absolutely ridiculous. It's pretty much... See, look, that's the size of a USB. Imagine trying to stick that in the iPod. Oh, whoops, sorry. Okay, Windows 95, please, where it will shut down your computer. You're not exactly shutting down my computer, though. By the way, you have full access to iPod while you're there, see? That's iPod stuff. Well, it's not actual iPod stuff, it's a hack applied that allows me to do that. The program, anyway, the app that allows you to do this is called Box, so I'll click on Box. The iPod runs much faster. Anyway, so you've got the things. See, I'm doing a test there trying to get Linux running. But anyway, because you can add your own operating systems. Windows 3.11 also works. The thing about Windows 3.11 is it is not as slow as Windows 95. It's still slow, but it boots up faster. Instead of waiting seven minutes for this to boot up, it boots up much faster. Okay, Windows 3.1 That is so cool, anyway If it just didn't take so long, anyway while that's loading, oh, finished loading, okay. Sorry, webcams of today, you've constantly adjust them to change the focus. It's actually drives me crazy moving this whole thing. Anyway, you saw how fast that booted to, to compare to Windows 95. Windows 3.1 was before, 3.11, I mean, was before Windows 95. Okay. There we go. It's up.
um, as you can see, Windows, what do you call it, 3.1 is much more different. It's actually a lot more crud. The mouse moved a bit too much. It's a lot more responsive, but not much more responsive. Um. Wait, let me go back up. I think I clicked the wrong thing. Whoops. No. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> so, um, I, I actually don't really use Windows 3.11 because it was made before I was born, so... I'm not really sure how you use it. Ah, there's a main window. So, yeah, you can go to... The mouse keeps on jumping to corners of the screen. Oh my gosh. There we go. So you can see all the applications pop up here. Anyway, I'm going to turn the computer off now. It's really weird how you turn the computer off, but anyway. Press that thing there. I'm not going to really show you much, because there's not really much to show. Oh my gosh. I absolutely hate... The thing is, Windows 3.11 is so annoying to you. Where is the mouse? So annoying to use. Okay, mouse, this is ridiculous. If I had a better iPod Touch, like another more future generation of iPod Touch, I'd be able to do this much faster. But anyway. Oh my gosh, stop jumping mouse. I actually really need to turn this off now and I can't. Okay. Close, okay. Oh my gosh, it jumped again, okay. Seriously, if you want to try this, you can. Just get an iPod Touch, second generation. Try run box on it. It's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, yes, I want to exit and end my wish Windows session, even though... Oh my gosh, can you please stop jumping mouse? Okay. So hard to control with your finger because with a normal mouse you control like this to move the mouse up on the screen. Oh, come on. And it's so unresponsive. It... Oh my gosh, I almost had it on the OK button, then it jumps. Okay. Oh my. Now, oh. I can't even... What? Every time I'm about to click OK, it just... Almost there. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so it's quitting Windows now. Okay, now it's in DOS mode, okay. I'll quit that. So, yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty cool application. The iPod Touch itself runs much faster, as you can see me. Just flip through things and open programs instantly and run them, instead of this ridiculous slow-moving thing. So the iPod is actually much faster. You can do this, and it's got actual better controls and stuff like this. So, yeah, but currently emulating Windows 95 or any operating system on iPod Touch right now, it's absolutely pointless, I wouldn't bother, but in the future, it would be a very good idea, I think. Anyway, goodbye and good night.
сейчас говорить.